We begin with the aerial assault launched by Iran against Israel. The Israeli army says more than 200 missiles and drones were fired from Iran. Most of the missiles have been intercepted by Israel and the US, UK and Jordan have also shot down drones. Air raid sirens have sounded across Israel and explosions have been heard in Jerusalem. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard says the assault is in retaliation for an attack on its consulate in Syria, which killed several generals. It's the first time Iran has launched a direct military attack on Israel despite decades of intense hostility. While there's been widespread international condemnation of the Iranian attack, US President Joe Biden repeated America's ironclad support for Israel. Secretary General Antonio Guterres criticized a serious escalation by Iran. The UN Security Council has called an emergency meeting. Germany's Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock also condemned the attack, saying it could plunge the entire region into chaos. The British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak called the assault reckless and vowed to stand up for Israeli security. Middle East tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Peyton Yeager. Iran launched dozens of drones and missiles directly on Israel's territory. U.S. and Israeli forces are in the skies trying to shoot them down before they can do any major damage. Both countries' neighbors are watching to see what happens next amid fears the conflict could escalate into a larger war. Fox's Trey Yeast has the latest. Israel putting its forces on high alert Saturday night, shutting down its airspace as Iran launched dozens of drones and missiles toward the country. The attack retaliation for a strike on Iran's consulate earlier this month that killed two top Iranian generals. Iran blames Israel for that strike, though the Israelis haven't taken responsibility. Rumors of war have been swirling in the intelligence community ever since. Israel readying its defenses in response, trying to shoot down the drones before they reach Israeli airspace. Israel also directing residents in several areas to stay near bomb shelters. This is a severe and dangerous escalation. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness. A post on X by the Iranian government through their permanent mission to the UN said the attack can be, quote, deemed concluded and warned the U.S. against getting involved. Though U.S. military officials tell Fox they have already shot down at least one Iranian drone. A breaking news happening across the globe in Israel where Iran has launched hundreds of airstrikes. We're taking a live look right now over Tel Aviv. U.S. officials believe Israel has successfully intercepted most of the attacks. Israel believes as many as 100 drones as well as ballistic and cruise missiles have been sent by Iran. The attack is believed to be in retaliation of Israelis' airstrike in Syria that killed Iranian military officials two weeks ago. Christian Benavides has the latest on how the Pentagon is reacting to the developments. Sirens and explosions heard throughout Israel as Israeli air defenses appear to be intercepting incoming Iranian strikes. Late Saturday, Iran announced that for the first time, it launched drones and ballistic missiles towards Israeli territory in a dramatic escalation after decades of tensions between the two nations. The regime in Iran fired a massive swarm over 200 killer drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles towards the state of Israel. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in an address to the nation, said, Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. President Joe Biden, who was in Delaware for the weekend, cut his trip short to head back to the White House to meet with national security officials, despite recent disagreements over its response in Gaza, at a press conference earlier this week. In a major escalation of the crisis in the Middle East, Iran has started a direct attack on Israel by launching dozens of drones to attack targets there. They're expected to reach Israel in the next couple of hours. Israel says its armed forces are on full alert with combat planes in the air. Iran has said it wants revenge for a suspected Israeli attack almost two weeks ago on its consulate in Damascus when the US, President Joe Biden, has cut short his weekend to return to the White House for briefings on the crisis.